Hi, I'm Kyle Daring from FusionSoft. I'm the senior sales engineer here. And today we're actually going to jump through our campaign builder and we're going to show you what an automated workflow kind of looks like. So using the campaign builder, as you can see on my screen here, I've actually created and published a campaign. Now this looks like a bunch of gibberish right now. It'll make sense here in a second. So first thing here with this campaign that I've created is the beginning goal, as we'll call it, which is this little circular guy. And as you see, there's more down here. Uh, the original goal is that someone comes and signs up for the newsletter or ebook or some other type of content, right? So I've actually pulled that up right here and I filled it out. So I got Kyle Daring, and it's kyle.infusionsoft.com. So if I say send my free report or, or whatever it might be, thanks for filling out a form, right? So this is what I would see as a prospect. Then it pops over and inside the sequence, it should be applying a tag to me, automatically creating a contact record out of me, saying thanks. Right, thanks for joining our, our newsletter list or whatever we want to call it, and then creating a task for my sales rep or for myself. Right? So then that first task, oh, and I actually just got the email right now from Danny Business Owner right here. And it should be creating a task for me to where if I go refresh my my day, it actually says, please call new prospect. So I click on that. We've got a new lead. There it is, Kyle Dering's right there. So we got his information. Right, and from there you can make a phone call or whatever it might be. I'll be able to see, okay, he's got the email, right? He's unopened it. So if I would go in there and open it, we'd be able to see that. But from here you can actually trigger a lot of, a lot of automation. So we can see right here we have a note, right? Let's say for example, I've created a note template within this campaign to where if I leave a voicemail, right? So let's say for example, I try to call Kyle and it doesn't happen. So I can go in here, see we can see a note template applied, right? I click it. There it is, LVM Kyle, tells me exactly what I need to do. And if I want to update anyone, I can, but otherwise I can press save, and that person or that lead will automatically be pumped into the sequence. Inside this sequence, typically you're going to have it to where it'll send them an email saying, thanks for uh, trying to reach out to us, and we'll try to call you back. Maybe wait another day and then give another task to that specific sales rep. And I just got the email right there saying that they tried to call me. Uh, you also have it to where we can have it to where when the call has been made off of a task being completed, so me just clicking on this task being completed, it would automatically update my manager or what other specific tasks I need to have done from that. The last one we have up here is an internal form. This is usually to qualify or unqualify a specific person uh, from a sales phone call. So from here I can have it to where there is my internal forms, I've got my Kyle's internal form, I fill it out and I am led to a specific form that might trigger what might happen, right? The appointment was scheduled, uh, I left a voicemail, or whatever it might be from that internal form. Once I press save, it automatically sends me down where I'm needed, right? Qualified, not qualified. So I've actually built out some stuff within this qualified thing right here, where I've actually created an email, probably saying, thanks for your phone call, we'll be following up with you, creating the task that might be a specific proposal, uh, assigning an owner to that task, and then creating an opportunity, right? It is also going to remove tags and apply new tags. So as we can see within Kyle here, he's going to have certain tags. Right now he has the new prospect one because we haven't filled out that form yet. But as soon as I do fill out that form, it'll automatically update his tags. So that way I can have an updated list of where my leads are at. That is just a few of the ways you can use automation behind your sales process or your marketing process to then trigger other actions based on an action you take. And as you saw, one or two clicks and everything's done for you. So if you feel like you're spending a lot of time doing tasks or you feel like there's not any automation behind your CRM, please give your sales rep a call and we'll make sure we set you up with one.